Well, getting fit is the most popular New Year's resolution of them all, but the New Year is also a chance to see how fitness trends are changing. A new survey reveals the ways Americans are achieving their fitness goals. Bradley Blackburn has more. Like many Americans, Vanessa Hittery bought high-tech home gym equipment during the pandemic. But now you'll find her here. A little lower. Lifting and training at X93 Fitness in New York with one-on-one -on -one coaching in person. It's more motivating than doing it at home. You see other people doing it. You have someone pushing you. She's not alone. A new survey from the American College of Sports Medicine tracks changes in fitness trends. Strength training with free weights, personal training, and functional fitness are all in the top 10 for 2023. Online training plummeted after topping the list in 2021. What we're seeing is an extraordinary number of people returning to the gym, much higher than what was expected in any other year that wasn't influenced by the pandemic. So we're starting to see people shift more back to kind of like group exercise where they're having that kind of face-to-face -face interaction. Why change something that don't need fixing? Trainer Chris Fernandez says he's been flooded with calls from people who want his back-to-basics approach. We're going to kick it back. He uses strength training that studies show can not only build muscle, but boost long-term health. Free weights is one of the best ways to lose weight as well as get toned up and built muscle definition. One piece of tech is expected to stick around. Wearable fitness trackers are the survey's number one trend for 2023, but the results only come with hard work. Now I'm doing things I thought I would never do. Ready for more change in the new year. Your heels stay on the floor. With old school fitness. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.